Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram over at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a author in one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Jack Paxton on the line. He's co-founder over at Viper and also founder over at Top Growth Marketing. Jack, welcome to Thanks for having me, Adam. Glad to be here. And, uh, yeah, excited for a great show. So I'm um, excited to get into what you're doing over at Viper with um, with giveaways, helping people generate revenue. I mean, it's going to be uh, good stuff here, um, and also at Tattles Marketing. Um, just to get us kicked off, maybe let's start with let's start with top growth marketing. So what what are you doing there? What kind of clients do you help? Yeah, sure. So I started, uh, you know, back in 2011 um, in marketing agencies and running ads and all that sort of fun stuff. And then progressed into creating my own ad agency, and we specialize in paid advertising, so scaling, scaling on Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, all those sorts of channels. And um, and so those uh, channels really lean towards e-commerce. So we created an agency around e-com scaling with paid advertising. And then from that, we then uh, started finding that giveaways, contests, referral marketing works really well um, in those sort of industries, especially when there's so much value to be given and then so much to be gained from email addresses, phone numbers, SMS, all that sort of stuff. So then went and built out uh, Viper, which was a, a software that we, we now use as well. And that's awesome. Um, let's, uh, I think that's a great transition. Let's go, I want to go further into Viper because that's a, it's kind of a new concept to some of our listeners. So they don't necessarily know how that may or may not fit into their business and helping them drive traffic and sales. Um, so let's just start off with maybe what are the types of clients that you feel or niches of business that work best for, for, a, for a software like Viper? Yeah, sure. So, you know, it's getting harder and harder to differentiate yourself with all your competing brands and you don't really want to get into a race to the bottom so the brands that are doing really well at the moment are the ones who build up uh, you know brand equity so they have followers they have distribution through social email sms now as well and so what's the the benefit of running referral marketing campaigns such as giveaways and contests are that you provide a lot of value up front and so that engages a lot of people and get people interested in your brand because you're giving up so much value before you're asking for anything. And what brands are doing mostly in the e-commerce space are finding that they can do these giveaways, generate tens of thousands of people on their email address, social channels, and any other channel that they're trying to build up like Messenger or SMS as well. And then they're building much stronger relationships with these people once they have that first touch point. They've created that value and then they can start nurturing those people turning them into brand advocates and then selling to them at a later date. And the real, the real reason that people are using giveaways, contests and referral marketing is that you're so much more likely to sort of, I suppose, appreciate a referral or a recommendation from a friend or a coworker rather than just look at an ad from a brand because every brand is saying that their product is awesome. Everything's always great. Nobody's ever kind of pointing out the names about their own brand. <laughs> They're not like, we're not, we're not quite there yet, but you should still buy our product because we need revenue and we're going to get there one day. Like that, that would be an ultimate campaign. I'm like, I'm in, I'll just buy it, whatever. Thank you for telling me the truth. <laughs> Go ahead, Jack. I had to. <laughs> yeah. No, well, hopefully, you know, one day marketers might be transparent, but, uh, I don't think we're quite yet there yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what we're finding is that, you know, people just trust people's recommendations. And people, people like talking with people and people like working with people and that sort of thing. So nobody wants to be marketed to. So they're finding that building out these audiences, these brand advocates, these influencers, and really creating those touch points and nurturing those leads is generating a much stronger brand and audience that's engaging with the brand and becoming a lot easier to sell to later down the line as opposed to the kind of old traditional direct response sort of method where it's, here's an ad, here's the value, here's the discount mm -hmm. right now. Um, so, so just to put a little bit of context around this, um, can you can you give us an example of what a campaign could look like? You don't have to use an actual client. You can make it a hypothetical, or if you want to talk about a client, you can either way. Yeah, so um, we can talk about uh, a customer of Viper that was a water company, 
and water, water is quite hard to sell online. <laughs> I was just um, going to ask you. I'm like, they came to you and they're like, hey, I want I want to sell some water. I'm going to do it online. Go ahead. I love it. You set the yeah. stage. That's a great example. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, and so, yeah, so they came to us uh, and they were like, okay, uh, you know, we've been struggling with selling online, direct to consumer, you know, it's a hard product. And then, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we suggested that they run some giveaways and contests and um, start mm-hmm. introducing more referral marketing. So what they did was they set up a campaign and – they partnered up with three or four other uh, companies that were similar to them. So they were kind of like a lifestyle water company. So they partnered up with like a beach towel company. They partnered up with a cooler like Esky box. I'm, I'm Australian, so sorry, it's called an Esky. But I think it's Cooler Box <laughs> in the US and a few other cool products from other brands. And so they create a really nice prize. And so in order for people to win that prize, they had to enter the giveaway. And so to enter the giveaway, uh, they promoted this with influencers through their own email list, through their partner's email list, um, put it up on their blog and their website. And so people wanted to enter to win all of these awesome prizes. So what they had to do then was go into a landing page that had name, email, and Instagram handle. Mm-hmm. So they would sign up to go into the draw to win the, win, the, win the prize pack. And so what happens then is once they enter the giveaway, Vice, that, which is run on Viper, a gamification system kicks in so now you have a point uh, a point basis so the more points you have the higher your chance of winning and so in order to get points once they entered the giveaway they had to refer their friends family and co-workers they also had to complete what we call bonus actions so the types of bonus actions these people would do were tag friends in our facebook posts share mm-hmm. our content on social media follow us on instagram follow us on facebook um, another one would have been like make a purchase in store and so there were all these different ways to click. So not only did you capture that lead when they first signed up to try and win that grand prize, now you're turning that lead into, you know, an avid follower, uh, engager of your content, and also a referrer of new customers or, or leads. And so they facilitated this uh, over about a month. And then the result was they collected about 60,000 emails and I think close to 100,000 new 60,000 emails. What? Yeah, Holy yeah, they did extremely smoke. well. Yeah, six so thousand um, emails. Gosh, and just to think <laughs> about it. So if you're, I, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pull these numbers out of a hat, tr- truly, because obviously it varies. But if you're paying five bucks an email on Facebook, you're like, man, that they just they, that was a big campaign. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Yep. That's huge. It takes people like a long time to find a segment of audience that big to um to be able to do that. What was the? How much time did this campaign take? I'm just curious. So they had some connections roughly, with roughly. Some, some people. So the, the longest part was definitely getting the partners to contribute a prize, yeah. and that probably took them about a week. Um, and I mean running the software. I mean, from, I, mean, I mean point of like software and like to collect and this and that. Like what was that part? I mean the other part, of course, that's going to vary mm-hmm. based on, you know, product and whatever you're doing. I'm just getting, trying to get my head around it. Yeah, well, they built the campaign in, you know, a few mm-hmm. hours. Um, and then wow. once the campaign's built, they just – decide how they want to place it, whether they want to have a widget on their website or use a landing page or use their own link page. Um, and so once they have that campaign built, they just get that link and they start promoting that link. And, uh, and that, was, that was pretty much it, really, in terms of setup. But, um, wow, but that's yeah, amazing. It was, and the reason I and the reason I ask the reason I ask that is because some of the people listening right now are like, oh, that sounds like some work. I mean, understand that there's gold at the end of the at the end of the rainbow, but um, that that sounds like a lot of work. And the thing is, I mean, I, I've checked out your site, and you can literally, depending on complexity, I mean, it's big bold big bold words on your on your uh, site. Create a giveaway or social media contest in 10 minutes. Run a giveaway. I mean, so it just depends on complexity, size of brand. Obviously, that's not going to work for everybody. But, I mean, the point is, is that this isn't a huge hurdle. You've really taken a lot of the a lot of the work out of this with your software. So, I mean, it's awesome. I think it's great. And I'm going to tell our other co-founder, I'm going to tell him, hey, we need to run some campaigns to give away some books or something <laughs> because why not build up our email list? we got tons of books. we got tons of – I mean, it's all good. Let's uh, drive more traffic to the to the, uh, to the podcast so no i love it and, and provide more value i mean that's the whole point yeah. um yeah so well, one of those just one more thing on mm-hmm. on those like one of your bonus actions for example these can be anything you want we will allow you to incentivize pretty much any online action so some some brands will do you know download a podcast or subscribe to our podcast or leave a review on our podcast 
as bonus actions to earn points. Um, so, you know, that's another way that you can build up reviews and, um, you know, rank higher quicker in certain marketplaces as well. Wow, that's awesome. Love it. Love to hear. I mean, tips and tricks all day. I get all, we get all our best, all our best uh, ideas is, are from our guests. <laughs> that's why I'm doing this. So you guys can all give me all your good ideas. So thank you. No. <laughs> that's awesome, Jack. Well, hey, Jack. Um, so, um, one last thing I do want to cover with you. We got it in the last minute or two. Um, I did want to get it in there. Don't want to forget. I know we went off on a couple different ways just because we had to. It was a good, good conversation. Um, <laughs> new product coming out. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So, uh, over the last 12 months, we've been working on a new software product, which is called Hyax, H-Y-A-X dot com. And uh, it's essentially going to be, uh, helping creators create sales funnels for either courses or digital products. So if you have something that you want to teach people, this would be the all-in-one solution where you can create your sales page, create a funnel there with maybe upsells or downsells, create your course within the platform, and also sell within your course. So, you know, this is a kind of a hybrid between like Thinkific and ClickFunnels, and it's going to help creators, uh, you know, monetize their skills and training a lot more. Um, and it's all going to be self-serve, so it'll be super easy with templates, easy build designs, super fast page loads and all that sort of stuff. So we've seen a real opportunity in that space. So, um, you know, we've been on that for about 12 months now. And that's awesome. Um, so if somebody's listening to this, Jack, and they want more information on any of the companies or to keep up to date with all the things you're doing, what, what are the best routes for them to, to get connected and get that info? Yeah, so if you're in marketing, you should definitely check out viper.io slash blog. So we publish all of our case studies. That one that I talked about is actually on there. Um, we also publish a lot of our marketing guides, a lot of trends that we're seeing because we see behind the scenes of a lot of different companies. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of information at viper.io backslash blog. Um, if you want to personally get in touch, you can hit me up at jack at viper.io. And Hiax will be releasing probably beta versions in the next month or two. And so we'll be, we're collecting a list of beta, uh, beta testers, email contacts. So when we roll that out, we'll, we'll be contacting all those people too. And that's awesome, Jack. Well, hey, um, gonna have to bring you on in 2021 again, do a reunion episode. I gotta see how all these things are working. I'm excited. Um, great <laughs> stuff you got going on over there. Um, and so thanks again for coming on the show and to the audience as always. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, hope you had a lot of fun listening to this. We had fun making it for you. Remember, without you, there is no podcast. So keep on listening and uh, subscribe to the podcast. I'm gonna figure out, have Jack figure out, somebody's gonna figure out how to incentivize you for listening to the podcast. <laughs> but just keep doing it. Share with your friends, family, all that good stuff. And Jack, thank Thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks, I appreciate it.